my, what a delightfully gorgeous day again. Isn't that right, babe? Yes, it is a gorgeous day. Oh no, shoe girl. Dude, it's the day of the harp and bowl. I've got a million and six songs ready for action. Unfortunately, I probably won't be able to record tonight because I'll be leading. And plus, it's just, it's a personal environment. Dudes! Well, just some random advice. because I, I posted this on Facebook, but, huh. Okay, every group of people, wherever there's a group of people, they're like an apple tree. Like, there's always gonna be both good fruit and bad fruit. And don't just assume that if you get like a few bites of bad fruit, that the whole tree is poisoned. I mean, if you get a few bad fruits, you just kinda mosey along, you go on, and then you look for other of the good fruits that might be on that tree still. Because uh, whenever like surveys are taken, the most accurate surveys is when you get more information from like a variety of sources from like your testing ground. So it's more accurate the more information you have. So don't judge an entire group of people based on three or just a few bad ones that you may have encountered. I mean, you want to judge them according to like I'm mean, like, you want to get as many facts as you can, okay? As many sources. Just wanted to address that because no reason, I don't know. Well, again, I just see drama all over Facebook and then obviously like my little exhortation is just kind of, what's the word? And obviously my little dissertation is going to change the world <laughs> because yeah. I mean, I learned this the hard way. Just saying. Because I used to do the same thing, so... Oops. Learn from your mistakes. Anyway, off to the harp and bowl. Alright guys, here's our harp and bowl. We're just about to start in like a minute. But everyone's gathered. It's our ambiance. It's my little station right there. I am tired, oh my goodness. The harp and bowl went very well. Um, I just, I remember a long time ago when I was at Bible college, there, or during one of our chapel services, there was one of the, one of the girls led, led us through like the whole thing and she like did the music and the message and preaching and everything, but I remember when she was playing on the piano and singing, like, I remember just tearing up and then I got like goosebumps all over me. I just felt like the presence of God so strongly. And I remember in that moment, like, I just, I wanted that gift. I told God, I'm like, I want that gift. I want to be able to play and sing and have you move through me as powerfully as you did for this girl in this moment. And that was in like 2006 or 2007 or something. So now like 47 years later, it's just like I have that gift now. Like it's just amazing. Like God moved through us tonight. We had a, a little team of people, I think like five people. And God just moved felt the Holy Ghost so strongly through us, and it was just, we just had a good time. We went a little bit over our time, which was so awesome, and oh, it was very tiring, but it was so worth it. I want to do it again. <laughs> i do it again in a heartbeat. This music is my life. God and music, there. Oh. You don't even know. <laughs> Unless you're a musician, a singer spirit-filled. You just don't know. Oh, oh my goodness. But I am going to bed before bed comes to me because I am so tired. That doesn't even make sense. But good night, you guys. God bless your faces off. And there's some lake. I mean, like, oh my gosh, water. I love water. Seriously, ever since I was like a nino, a little fetus zygote, I love to water. 
I loved water so much that I broke it. And then I was born. And then I went searching for it ever since, so here I am.